Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over how to mine cryptocurrency on your computer, laptop, PC, whatever. Let's jump in. All right, real quick before we go on, guys, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. I've got a couple of videos coming out every week you don't want to miss. Uh, also, if you like this kind of co content, hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it as well. All right, so how to mine cryptocurrency on your computer, laptop, etc. You really only need two things. You're going to need an actual what's called a miner, okay? And you're going to need a wallet like you would have in your, in your pocket because uh, you're going to need to store the coins you're mining. So first off, let's, let's dive into the actual wallet. So we're going to use what's called Zellcore right here. Um, you can put multiple, I think it's probably 50 plus coins in this type of wallet, different types of cryptocurrency. Uh, Zellcore one-stop platform for all your crypto custody needs. So basically all you do is click download. Uh, it would download it to your computer, click install, go through the prompts, and when it's done, it's going to pop up and look like this. Um, if you want to add some more assets, you go here, and this will give you a list of all the different types of assets it has. As you can see, there's probably maybe actually about 60 70 don't know for sure how many but that is Zellcore so we'll come back to this in a second I have a couple different wallets Zellcore Exodus but for right now purposes of this video to get started quickly we'll use Zellcore alright so two you're gonna need the miner so it's called better hash there's different miners out there nice hash better hash um, I found the best luck so far here recently uh, with better hash so that's what I've been using so first off you're gonna to want to click register right here just put your email in your password click I'm not a robot and click get started that should take you once you do that over to this page right here where it's gonna go over briefly uh, just some disclaimers here and there uh, you're going to type in yes and then click download. This will download the miner to your computer and we'll, we'll pull that up here in a sec. So let me minimize that. I've already downloaded it, put it in a folder on my computer called Better Hash right here. And there it is. That's a little file you'll download. <clears throat> you'll double click on that setup. And I chose to have it extracted into this actual folder and this is all the files you'll get. But you should also have it put on your desktop. You know, give you a little option, make a desktop shortcut, you click yes. So you'll double click on better hash icon on your desktop. I've already got it pulled up here. And this is what it's going to look like. It's real easy, straightforward. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, or the first thing it does once it actually pulls up is it's going to download all the little individual miners they call them inside this program and then it's going to run what's called a benchmark which actually tests what kind of graphics card your computer has and what the best um, algorithm to mine is what is the most efficient what's going to make you the most money so once it's done with that it's going to come to the screen it should automatically start mining uh, if not, you would just click start. But before we do that, once you get to this screen here and it's all set up, it's all benchmark, what you're going to need to want to do is go over to manual or modify settings, click on payment, then click on assign ID. You're going to put the email in that you just signed up with over on BetterHash, and then your password, and then click apply. As you can see, I've already done that. And when you do that, we are logged in here. This is the um, dashboard of Better Hash. Once you log in, this is what it'll look like. You should see a little status OK. That means it sees the actual software on your computer and you're OK, you're good to go. So then we can go back over to here and just click Start. And it will pull up 
the best miners at this point in time. Uh, it will switch back and forth because it's like a profit switching miner. It'll find the most profitable coin to mine. It'll mine that and you don't have to do anything else. That's it. That's as easy as it is. The software does everything else for you. And the coins you're gonna mine here, it's got, again, this is all done automatically behind the scenes. You can choose, uh, you know, more advanced settings. If you wanna choose a certain coin, you can, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I've got other videos where I talk about that. Should be popping up here if you wanna look into that. But as you can see, XMR, which is Monero, Zeek is Zcash, Ethereum, ETH, ETC is Ethereum Classic, then you have Dash, BTG is Bitcoin Gold, RVN is Raven, and then of course BTC. Now you can extract all of these to your wallet, which you will find right here. Here's Bitcoin, Zcash, um, Monero, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Gold, all of these coins that you can mine on BetterHash are in this Zellcore wallet, which is why it shows this wallet to do the video with, because it just makes it easier for you. So let's say you want to pull out, I have Raven already on BetterHash from before. So we go to transfers, should pull up. Transfers, we don't want that. All right, we're already logged in. Don't know why we're asking me again. Come on. It's a little laggy here, guys. There we go, sign in. So in your wallet, if I say, here's Ravencoin, you click on Ravencoin. Then you want to receive money to your wallet. You click receive, and then you would click copy. Okay, so this is your wallet address that you're going to send money from BetterHash to. So let's go to transfers. Try this again. Now you can go, there's, there's Monero right there. There's Zcash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Dash, Bitcoin, Gold, and Raven. So for purposes of this video, I got 21 Raven in here. I'm gonna transfer that to my wallet. So you're gonna enter the wallet address right there that you just copied from your Zellcore wallet. And then click withdraw. Enter 2FA FA code, you would enter that and boom, it would be sent to your wallet. So right now I'm not going to worry about that, but that's all you would have to do and the 21.69 Raven minus the uh, minimum transfer or minus the estimated fee, which is not much at all, uh, would be transferred to your wallet. Now, if you wanted to turn all of your shares, let me stop this miner, it might lag a little bit. So if you wanted, you didn't want each individual coin, you could convert all of this into Bitcoin and you can just do that by going to BTC transfer manual withdrawal and of course you would you know be able to withdraw your total BTC I got 59,091 satoshis is what they call it uh, I need at least 0 .001 so I don't have enough so once I got the 0 .001 I'd put my Bitcoin wallet address in there so if I went back to here went back and clicked on Bitcoin clicked receive I would just copy that, enter that in there, and then click, it would say withdrawal if I had enough BTC in here. And that's as simple as this. So you can either withdraw individual cryptocurrencies, or you can have it automatically converted to Bitcoin and pull it out that way. So that's as easy as it is to mine, guys. Cryptocurrency on your computer. So. If I were you, I'd get started. Cryptocurrency is the future. Maybe this video is being watched 10 years into the future. I don't know, but as of right now, we're still in the infancy stages of cryptocurrency. So I'll get on and start mining right away. All the links I talked about in this video are going to be down below in the description section. So don't worry about trying to find this stuff. 
Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it, guys. Okay? I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.